Hello everyone. Today we are going to test on Wilcox EF M1, EF M2, and the latest EF M2 Mark II. On the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. So here is the Wilcox EF M1. It doesn't have a glass. It has a USB USB port for firmware update and a removable tripod. And these two are the EF M2 version two. EF M2 or version. Many people would like to know what is the difference between the Mark II and the old version. Both of these adapter has the identical hardware, such as lenses, PCB chipset, except the contact point. The Mark II come with a new contact point like this, and this is the old version. All right, let's get start. Let's try the EF M1 first. The first lens we are going to test. Is the Canon 50mm 1.8 STM The first thing to see is the aperture You can also see from here. Of course, you can do the menu focus like this. Next, we're going to test on EFS 50 to 250 STM. And the menu focus. The 
next one we are going to test is the EFS 10 to 22 UMS USM sorry Of course, many focus. Next, we are going to test on EFM2. Let's start with the latest Mark 2. And a 15mm STM. aperture of this lens, the maximum aperture of this lens is 1.8. With the use of EFM2, you can get a larger aperture to 1.3. Next one, we are not going to test on these two lenses because both of them are EFF, EFS lenses which comes with a longer tail. This longer tail will hit on the glass surface when you put it like that. So we do not recommend to use EFS lenses on EFM2 or other adapter with uh, glasses. So right now we can try the old version. With the same lens 50 1.8 STM Aperture 
first. The smallest, it used to be 22, but now it get larger, become 16 for the smallest aperture. And same as the EFM to Mark II, you can also get 1.3 for the largest aperture. Let's try on the menu focus. As you can see, EFM2 Mark 1 or Mark 2 as a identical functions.